Welcome to Evo Vlog number five. In this episode, we're gonna talk about dropping in our engine, going on the one lap of America trip, and giving away some cams. So we were able to get the engine installed. I'm pretty psyched that I was able to get that done since the last episode. Uh, I spent quite a long time just going through, bolting everything on the motor, getting a lot of the stuff on the back side of the engine bolted on, particularly because I know it's gonna be a lot easier uh, to bolt that stuff on while the engine's out of the car. So we put on our intake manifold and a lot of the hoses that go along with it. We obviously got our valve cover and everything on the front of the motor kind of back on and ready to go. That all took a little bit of time to get set up. And once I was able to get everything bolted onto the engine, the process began of taking the engine off the engine stand so we could get to the flywheel, bolt on our flywheel, bolt on our clutch, uh, obviously we need to align your clutch. When you put your clutch in, you need a clutch alignment tool so you can hold your clutch right in the center. It's particularly important on the Evos, otherwise you're not able to put the transmission on in place. So really one of the hardest parts was actually getting the transmission mounted up to the engine. I don't think I actually had the clutch aligned just perfect the first time I tried getting it mounted, so I wasn't able to get it on. So I had to drop the transmission all the way back down, loosen up my pressure plate and adjust my clutch and get it aligned right before I could try bolting the transmission back onto the engine. But nonetheless, it all came together and I was able to drop this engine in from the top. I was able to leave the hood on and everything. I just had my cherry picker and brought it in. I took a couple components off while I was setting it in just to make it a little bit easier so I had more room and so I didn't actually have to remove the hood. As you can probably tell, I'm pretty excited that I got the engine in. It's pretty awesome that it's coming together. It's almost more like an actual car now, so that's cool. Still need a non-ACD transfer case, so I know pretty soon that's gonna come up and bite me because I'm gonna wanna get that in fairly soon if I can find one, so the search continues for that. Special thanks to people from the last episode that messaged me about getting that fuel level arm and some other pieces for dropping the fuel tank and some advice on that. I really appreciate it. I got a couple comments to help me out. Uh, I got one person that's generous enough to send me that spare fuel level arm that they say they have. So hopefully I'll be getting that too. So you guys are awesome. I really appreciate the support with getting this all together. And really, I appreciate you guys' support so much that I actually wanna give back and try doing a contest. As you know from episode three, uh, these HKS272 cams were in the engine and I didn't even know they were there. So I'm hoping to take my good fortune and make it your good fortune. I'm gonna give these cams away. I have directions for that in a separate video that I've already posted, but if you missed that video, go back and check it out um, and see how you can win these HKS272 cams that I'm gonna give away. And tying into the cam giveaway is the One Lap of America trip that's gonna be coming up. It's honestly gonna put this project on delay for a while because that's gonna be a long, grueling trip, but it should be well worth it. I'm gonna be tagging along with a couple race teams. One of them you guys are probably gonna like is the RS Motors built Mitsubishi Evo 9 that has been competing in the One Lap of America series the last two years. And two years ago, it finished third overall. Last year, it finished second overall. So a little bit of information about this One Lap of America trip. It basically starts at Tire Rack headquarters and then it's one big circle kind of around America. That's why it's kind of the one lap. It's one lap of America. Obviously we're not going all the way around the United States, but it is over 3000 miles. It is seven or more tracks. I don't know all the details. So stopping at seven different road course tracks. I think there's a drag racing track in between there too. But basically you're spending over a week on the road commuting to all these tracks and trying to run as fast of a flying lap as you can at the track while also being able to have a reliable enough car that can make the trip. So most of my audience knows Evos pretty well and you know reliability can be an issue, but this RS Motors Evo has made the trip the last two years. So I'm really hoping I don't jinx them this year and that they can make it through a whole nother year of this one lap trip. So it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be exciting to see. So part of that is gonna tie into my cam giveaway. Again, watch that cam giveaway video and uh, you'll see more about that. And that's actually gonna lead me to my question of the episode, which is kind of a two-parter. One, have you ever heard of the One Lap of America series before I mentioned it here in this video series? And two, is that something you think you would like to do? Does it sound awesome? Does it sound like way too much work to travel over 3,000 miles in basically just a week and then try to race on all these racetracks? Let me know, I'm just curious to your thoughts if that's something you would like to do or if it's something you've ever done, leave a comment, let me know what I should expect and give me some tips on making this trip. 
And that's it for episode five. Now we're gonna have to start getting into the nitty gritty with some of these episodes, putting stuff back together, figuring out where things go. This upcoming process, it has things that you wouldn't think would take very long, but I'm anticipating that it might take me a while to get some of this wiring set up and to find these pieces that I need to put the rest of this puzzle back together. But we'll see how that goes. Again, one lap's gonna delay a couple episodes, but I really hope you stay tuned for the daily videos that I should be posting right here on this channel. And if you'd like, you can also follow me on Instagram, Boosted Film, no S, Snapchat, Boosted Films, Facebook, Boosted Films. So if you wanna follow me on any of the social media accounts, that'd be cool, especially for one lap. I'll be doing hopefully a lot of Snapchat on one lap. So if you wanna see live action basically going on, you can follow that through Snapchat. So that's it guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. But like I said, I'm pretty sad. Special tank, this tanks, tanks. Cut that crap.